Hey, thanks for swinging in for a little THG. Today's video, I am showing you uh, my first time weaving on my new weaving loom. The first thing I had to do is called dressing the loom. And I took my white cotton string that you can see going vertically around the weaving loom and I had to attach that by going in between each peg as I went around the loom and I secured it on each end. Now I'm taking what's called the heading cords and attaching those. I am using a very thin twine to, um, to be my heading cords. I've already woven one in. I attach it to one side of the wooden vertical arms that you see there. I weave through every other string and pull it through and attach it to the other side. And I do that with two separate strings and that creates what's called the heading cord. And that will be one end and the beginning of my woven piece here that I'm making. Okay, so I'm doing a close-up right here so you can see what I'm referring to as far as going around each individual peg. You can see how I've wrapped that around the white cords. And you can also see the thin twine, the brown one that I am attaching to the vertical end of each side. And again, I cut and secure that last piece of heading cord on the second one to the vertical weaving loom arm and I push it all down with my wooden comb. I now have the two heading cords completed. Now I start by taking my wooden needle and I go in and out every other little white warp thread or string and I can only go across half of it with the size of that wooden needle so I put in that little wooden stick to uh, hold in place the ones I've already done and then pull it out and finish weaving across. Push it through, lift it up. And now I'm ready to show you how I wound the, um, the yarn shuttle. This is a rectangular type long stick that has slats in each end cut. And um, I'm going to wrap my yarn around this shuttle several times. But you can see then I put the shuttle through. And the very first one I have to secure it once again. Lift it in the middle. And then I bring my wooden comb. Pull down the middle and then go to the sides. And now I can start weaving, starting with the opposite. If the string was under the needle the first time, it's going to be over the needle the second time. Weaving in and out. I'll go about halfway across again. Hold my place with that um, tension stick and then finish weaving. the rest. Now I lift it up on its side to create that space, push the shuttle through, and I don't have to pull it super snug. Tight, but not, not super tight.
And now I repeat again. Inch by inch and row by row, I'm learning a little bit more with every single one that I do. I have found this is very time consuming and I now have a better understanding for why hand-woven rugs cost so much money, hundreds of dollars for those really beautiful professional ones. I hope someday I'm able to create those. I hope someday that I can have my beautiful little she shed out in my pasture where I can sit near my sheep and work on my wool projects and process wool. I hope to have a floor loom someday that will create large, beautiful rugs. But until that day, I'm perfectly content with this little blessing that I received for Christmas. As I learn and perfect my skills and I hope that one day I can consider this a talent. I'm about a quarter of the way through with my um, piece that I'm doing here. And I've spent many, many hours so far. A lot of things go through your mind as you sit here doing this and despite what may be going on around me I am grateful for what I have I'm grateful for the blessings that have come into my life just in the last two months the new drum carter that I got and the new weaving loom for the ability I had to buy the pieces I needed for my spinning wheel so that I could get it to work again Once again, I'm finding it's all these little things that build up and help to create these beautiful blessings and beautiful next steps that come into our lives, my life in particular right now at this moment. I hope that I am able to someday and somehow repay the kindnesses that have been shown to me lately. For those of you out there that aren't aware yet, I was able to take my uh, two ewes down for a Christmas date to my friend Emily's house, um, Hidden Vallis Ranch. I'll leave her link below. And um, hopefully, if all went well, I will be able to officially start my Breed Up program, or my part of it anyway, for the Vallis Black No Sheep. And she was so generous and kind and helpful to help me get that going. And so I pray that it just takes effect. And I'll, le I'll let you guys know as things are happening, I'll let you know the results of the pregnancy tests and what all takes place and how it's going as things progress. So leave a comment below. What kind of wool work do you guys do? Um, is your specialty in the weaving or in the processing of the wool or perhaps knitting or crocheting? Do you have any tips for me or ideas that would um, help me learn more? and understand more about weaving or that you can share with anybody else that may be watching. Once again, it's all those little things. I just can't ever say it enough. The little things we do in life really matter. And not just for ourselves, but for all of those around us. watching my videos and clicking like and and commenting thank you you guys those are all free things and 
you would not believe how much that helps me. So thank you for each of you that take the time to do that because it is very helpful to me. And in return, I hope that I am giving you some kind of content that helps you learn or connect with something or that helps you um, just have pure enjoyment and happiness for a few minutes. I'll let you know and I'll show you some more videos as I get further along on my woven piece here. I hope this video finds all of you well and happy and that your new year has gotten off to a wonderful start. Please leave comments below and let me know what other kind of content would you like to see? Is there any questions or are there any questions that you have for me about wool working? Thanks again to all my friends and family that have helped make this possible. I'm literally beginning to live my dreams. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.